Meteorologist Kate Bilo is in the CBS Philadelphia Next Weather Sphere, and there's a change a coming. Big changes coming, Jim. 84 degrees yesterday, 79 on Saturday. If you were one of those people, and I may have been one of those people that said, you know, it's just a little too warm out today. Maybe you didn't know what was coming. I did, so I enjoyed it, but we do have some colder fall air on the way. Much cooler air moving in as we speak, and that's what's causing the cloud cover this morning. We're seeing some breaks of sun through the clouds, not seeing much in the way of rain. We could really use some rain. We don't have any out there right now, but you can see the clouds as we look live. Plymouth meeting from our view, bird's eye view here from the Place One Apartments. It's looking kind of a little foggy or hazy there in Ocean City. Cape May a bit overcast and clouds in Philadelphia as well, but the clouds are going to be clearing. Let's recap our high temperature so far this month because every day except for one has been at or below average and that one chilly day was last Thursday. You remember that? Well, we only got to 64 and then we had the frost advisory Friday morning. That was kind of like the appetizer portion of cold air because starting tomorrow, especially Wednesday, Thursday, we are going to add some blue squares to the calendar. So far, we're about four degrees above average. That's helped out a lot by yesterday's 84, which was only three degrees off a record. What we haven't seen is any rain. In fact, so far in October, we've gotten zero goose egg, no rain at all. And since September 1st, the beginning of meteorological fall, we've only picked up about three quarters of an inch, 0.77 inches. That puts us five inches below average season to date. So meteorological fall September 1st to now, we are five inches below average. We need the rain. We have a drought going on in our region, a moderate drought now for Philadelphia and nearby north and west suburbs down into Delaware, a moderate drought for much of Atlantic, Burlington and Ocean counties and a severe drought for portions of interior Burlington County. And that is dangerous because, of course, we have forests there. We have fires that tend to form. You need rain. We need a good soaking. We haven't gotten an, over an inch of rain since mid-August, and we don't have any still to come. It is looking like another dry stretch. What we're looking at right now, a front moving through. That's what's again producing the cloud cover. Maybe a couple of sprinkles, certainly nothing that's going to help us with the drought conditions. What will feel though, the winds really pick up. That's really going to be today's story. You'll remember today as a windy day. Gusts to over 30 miles an hour by 10 a.m. Gusts just keep getting stronger. In fact, we could have some gusts upwards of 40 miles an hour in our farthest western suburbs by 10, by 1 o'clock, I should say. And then later on this afternoon, gusts in the city reaching over 30 miles per hour. Once the sun goes down, the winds will dissipate as well, but that's going to make it feel so much colder outside as the afternoon goes on. So this morning is not too bad. It's not all that windy. 11 a.m. The winds start to pick up, but then two o'clock winds are really howling. And then look at this by five o'clock. It's 57 degrees, a huge drop in the temperature. And with the wind, that 57 will feel like 53. So it's going to feel so much colder when you leave work as opposed to when you arrive. If you're getting to work at 8, 9 a.m., it'll be in the mid 60s. It'll feel like it by the time you leave. That cold wind will let you know that fall is really here and a lot of leaves are going to come down today. Then we go into tonight. Let's pull up our map and I want to show you our expected low temperatures out there tonight and we're going to be dropping quite a bit. In fact, we're looking at 30s in spots like Coatesville up in Pottstown, Lancaster tonight down to 38 degrees. I'm going to set this into motion. You can see how that warm air that's in place right now just eats away as we get into tonight. Philadelphia, we're dropping to 42 degrees. Look at this cold coming in throughout the day. This is a loop of the next 12 hours or so. Millville tonight, 38 degrees, cold enough for some frost, especially in the coldest spots. We're not going to see a ton of frost, mainly because we still have a bit of a breeze around. So your next weather set day forecast. Let's pull it up here and you can see the changes that are coming. Tomorrow's high is only 59 degrees. Today we transition from yesterday's 84 to just 66. We'll drop in the afternoon, chilly Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we rebound back to the 70s and none of that much needed rain. We've got a stretch of sunshine lasting through the weekend.